One of the most important questions is what differentiates Kinhaven from any other place where students can apply each year. Of course, chamber music is a huge piece of that, but more importantly, it is the student-centered nature of the process of making music here. It's the faculty and staff's approach to assigning chamber music each week. They create form-fit pieces for them, and it rotates every single week, and it grows and follows that student, not only from week one through week six, but perhaps from year one to year four, since we have so many students coming back. Assigning of the chamber music is one of the greatest and most important things that we do at Kinhaven, but it's a part that's usually not seen. Well, it begins at the beginning of the summer. We hear all of the instrumentalists. They all play for us so we get a sense of their, their playing ability and their style, their strengths, their weaknesses. I get a general idea of what would make the best summer for that student. So when we think about their chamber music experience, we think about what they're playing is like as solo players. Um, we think about what we know about their sight reading and their interactions with other kids. And then we try to put that together into a piece that would make sense for them and players to pair them with that would make sense. These students do not have to audition for assignments every single week. They are rotated through, they are assigned the chamber music piece for that week that perfectly fits their needs in their time of growth in their lives. So for instance, you can have a brass quintet where we have a, a trumpet player who is extremely strong and a trombone player needs to work a little more on their high register where the tuba player might need to work on counting. Well, incredibly, there's repertoire for that. The chamber music group is much more than just a means of learning a particular piece. We discuss everything from how they're uh, performing in the ensemble to how they are sleeping, how they are eating, how they're socializing. We try to get as complete a picture about each student so that we can properly place them the following week. Once we have that, uh, we then go through and say what kind of piece would be good for this group. And then we go through the book and make sure they haven't played that piece before. Each student's progress is very carefully monitored, so we keep track of everything that a student has played in their history at Kinhaven. We move the students around, so if that particular group that was put together this week will not be put together again. Every week we have two student concerts. There's a Friday concert and there's a Sunday concert. Uh, the students that perform on the Friday concert have rehearsals Monday morning, Wednesday morning, and Friday morning. And the students who perform on Sunday have Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. We have this very low-tech system that we use of tags and a chamber music board. Each student gets two tags, one that um, represents Monday, Wednesday, Friday groups, one that represents Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday groups. And the tags come down off the board as they perform. Once they perform them, they're back on the table to be reassigned. On Sunday evening, before we go to bed, we put the lists up. And then immediately after breakfast, everybody in Kinhaven comes to the pass-through like a subway at rush hour and the coaches come out with the music and they start screaming and yelling the names of their students and somehow, some way, the coaches figure out who to give the actual physical music to. And then once all of that is set up, it's we get to the fun stuff and that is helping the students explore the, the music, what makes for successful performance, what makes for successful and efficient rehearsal. How do you put these kinds of things together, particularly in such a condensed time frame. To see them start at this very kind of insecure point, they evolve, the coach helps mold them and rehearses in a way that strengthens the group and come concert day they draw an incredible amount of pride and accomplishment from playing this very difficult challenging piece so beautifully together. They play in large groups at home and here in the orchestra, and they're conducted. With chamber music, you're totally tied to those five people. You have to listen, you have to adjust, you have to move together, you have to play together, and, and it, it, it's a different element of music that then, when they go into the orchestra, if the big group benefits from that, because then they start listening to each other's lines and, and determining who has the tune and how they need to play their part 
to that, and then they become great orchestra musicians as well. One of the ways that I try to bring chamber music into the experience of orchestra is a technique that I use where I split them up and I have them no longer sit in sections and not sit next to people who they usually play with and facing in different directions but always facing each other, just not facing the conductor. And then what they do is they play the music themselves. The tool that that communicates to them is that they are bringing the experiences and the work they're doing in chamber music and bringing it into the orchestral experience. They're seeing how that paradigm of community work is the same thing you do in orchestra, despite the fact that usually there's a conductor. Having dealt with chamber music programs in a number of different places, I feel like what we do here is really special. It's very communal and it's all in the interest of the kids. The choice of a particular piece for a particular student that process and that the thoughtfulness and the incredible care uh, that the faculty gives to that process is the thing that determines the success of a, a student's Kinhaven experience. I think every summer I come back here and I fall in love with music again, where I can come here and I can just devote these six weeks to music and to everything that goes along with it, and I think that's really wonderful. When we come together and play chamber music, it's a really beautiful thing because we all just really understand that like we're here because we love the music and all the coaches give us such like valuable advice and not only for like the piece that we're playing but for any music that we're going to play in the future and it's just it's really special to be here this is by far the most formative experience of my of my career as a musician as a, and as a person so far i thank my lucky stars every day that i was able to spend summers here um, and i will never regret it for one moment Thank you.